we all know that dogs are our best friends, our family members, provide us with immense unconditional love. But what you may not know is that by curing cancer in dogs, we might actually find the cure for cancer in humans. And we're using AI to help us. I embarked on this journey because my dad had cancer, and I also had four-legged family members with cancer and observed tremendous similarities. But let's start with the promise of personalized medicine. A holy grail in medicine is that our unique traits inform the best treatments. In cancer, that's incredibly important, as cancer genetics, genomics really matter, and they really inform what really that uniqueness of our being, right, will become the treatment that informs the outcome. And we've done great progress in this area in the last 20 years. However, one of the limiting factors is that not enough people actually enroll in clinical trials for us to figure out all of those different combinations, permutations. So in order to de-risk pretty costly clinical trials, we also use mice earlier in drug development, but these have several drawbacks. Mice are obviously very far from us humans. They also um, don't really have spontaneous natural cancer. The cancer is engineered, it's induced. So it really doesn't replicate our messy lives, right? Think of a mouse in a lab. But enter the dog. Tremendously high rates of cancer, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, share environment with us, right? Sleep in our bed often, eat scraps of our food, secondhand smoke, and co-evolved with us. The cancer is natural, it is not induced. The dog has an intact immune system and recapitulates much more of our lives and our journeys than, say, a mouse does. And how high are these rates of cancer in dogs? Very high compared to other mammals. And we're mammals too. So some facts. Six million dogs were diagnosed with cancer last year. That's versus 1.8 million. This is just in the United States. And sadly, not many dogs even access medical oncology care. So we're transforming this. We first start by studying the overlap at the driver of cancer, underneath the cancer, between dogs and humans. And we compared 69,000 human cancer tumors with 700 canine tumors. We found a tremendous overlap. Then we set out to build the largest in vivo learning data set for cancer. So we started by delivering those cutting edge precision medicine treatments and diagnostics to dogs. We partner with 1,000 plus veterinary clinics in the United States. And what we learn then helps us predict what works for dogs and humans. We have amassed 1.2 billion data points. And we've leveraged the most sophisticated AI techniques to parse this data set, to figure out biomarkers, treatment outcomes that matter, to figure out what are predictive biomarkers for humans, to then take that, those data and compare to what are predictive biomarkers um, for dogs. We then are figuring out a predictive engine of what drugs will, what will work better in what contexts for dogs and for humans. Our work was just peer-reviewed in Nature, Precision Oncology, so it's fresh off the press, and it's the largest work of its kind. We're looking at real-world data in dogs with cancer, and again, comparing to the human setting, and figuring out you know, what really works. Our results are transforming the canine cancer journey from a death sentence to a second chance at life. We're seeing up to 3x improvement in overall survival. This is major. And we're learning and demonstrating in our paper that cancer drugs that are designed for humans work in dogs, so that opens up the door for us to learn from each side of the leash. And we're learning the prognostic biomarkers, the indicators of what's going to work, what's not going to work, and comparing them across species. We've also already helped one drug move forward with our canine data 
the drug will help humans and dogs, and it's with a major biopharma. So join us in this fight against cancer on both sides of the leash. If you know a dog with cancer, please enroll in PhytoCure. And if you're a cancer researcher, please consider contacting us as how we can leverage our rich data set to accelerate cures and help both our two-legged and four-legged family members. Thank you so much. <laughs>